Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. So guys, this will be the part 17 of my video series on GPS tracker app using Android Studio. Okay, guys. So now in this video, I will try to integrate my the Google Maps API into our activity. So guys, let's get started. So first of all, before we start, let me rebuild my project so that every if there is any issue, so it can be resolved. Okay, and after that, we can go to our next activity. All right. Okay, so guys, so guys, we have we have a lot of errors here, so we need to remove that. So first of all, my navigation activity, we just need to set it, user location main activity. All right, and here also use location main activity. All right, so we just need to rebuild it again. So here we have these four we had already changed that so first of all go to here and just copy all the values so first of all need to remove that and we just need to copy from menu to this okay so just copy that. Okay, just copy and paste it in our user location main drawer. Okay, so let's remove the menu here and just paste it here. All right, guys. So now we have this. Uh, I mean, okay, so let me remove the WhatsApp from there. It's not looking good. Okay, so now we have this setup. So we can now delete the my navigation drawer. So go here and click on delete. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I can delete my navigation. All right, guys. So we have this. And after that, what we can do is we can have if our ID equals to. Okay, so here we first of all can say that file base out. this out dot get instance and after that we here can have action active uh, settings okay so now okay so now here in our own navigation item selected we can say if id equals to so let me open the user okay so if the id is equals to navigation join circle navigation join circle after that we have uh, my circle and join circle okay my circle and navigation join circle after that we have invite members and share location navigation invite members navigation share location and finally we have sign out navigation sign out okay so guys in the navigation sign out method we can say file base user user equals to or dot get current user if user is not equal to null i mean the user is signed in so we can you make the user sign out so we can say out dot sign out all right and now we can uh, finish this activity and open main activity okay and uh, sorry 
we can say user location main activity dot this and main activity dot class and we can say start activity my intent all right guys so so now i we have the google maps activity ready okay so we just need to have the google maps api okay so we need to set it up so what we can do we can say okay so go let's go to our values folder and here we have this google maps api okay so now here we need to paste our api okay so for that what we can do just copy this link okay just copy that and go to your browser and just paste it here okay guys so now here we can register our project so first of all let me change the my id to this one okay guys so now here we can have create a project continue and my internet is very slow so it is saying that enabling api okay so now we can create our api key so we need to, we will need to enter our credit credentials okay guys so now use this key in your android application by passing it with the key because api key okay so we can copy that and close it and if we try to open it or if we try to change it okay api key one android apps okay guys so we can paste our this key okay in our android project so just remove your key here and paste your key okay and after that you just need to rebuild your project and after that what we can do uh let's run our app so for that let's go to site sync let me open the site sync app and also okay guys so now our mobile is connected with my laptop okay so it is having some problem let me open the usb debugging in my phone and now we can run our project okay guys so now uh, let me run the app let's see if it works or not all right so now the application is running so it is saying me okay so i allow the permission after allowing we now have the sign in and sign up button so we click on sign in let me first of all check the user firebase click on go to console
and let's change it to this one and here we have this gps tracker okay so now just click on that click on authentication and let's see if i have a user okay so we have this user haroon at gmail.com okay so just i enter it three four five six seven let's click on login here you go here you guys can see i have this user logged in successfully okay and my location is shown here okay so the location is shown google maps activity is opened okay so here we will have this one join circle my circle okay now our activity is open if i uh, click on here so this sydney is shown here okay if we if i click on here so marker in sydney okay as we uh, write this code here okay so if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Goodbye.